Hi guys, welcome back to another video where today we're going to cover how to simplify your chipping. Now what I see a lot of amateur golfers do at the range or on the golf course is they always try and chip with their most lofted club. Okay. Now as you can see behind me, this flag is at the back of the green, so I've got all of this space that I can work with. Okay. So yes, I can stand here and hit my 58, you know, and, and fly it all the way there. Okay. But it's just a little bit more inconsistent because A, I have to make a longer backswing to generate the power because we have more loft on the club face. Okay. Which then makes B strike more difficult. Okay. So in this situation here, I want you to go for something more like a nine iron. You can go down to an eight, a seven, even a six if you like. Okay. Now, how do we stand and play the shot? How do we sort of generate the movement? Okay. So number one, we're going to have the ball in the middle of our stance. Okay. Number two, feet nice and close together. It's only a small shot, so we don't need any power. Number three, just shift a bit of pressure into your lead foot. So left foot in my case, take your grip. And then from here, like a putting stroke almost, back and forwards, keeping the lower body nice and quiet and allowing the arms and chest to rotate, okay? So you wanna make sure you're lined up towards the flag. So feet, shoulders, and club face all lined up to that flag. I'm gonna lean into my left leg a little bit, look where I wanna go, and nice and simple, rock of the shoulders, one, two, okay? As you can see, that ball is now rolling out towards the flag rather than flying in, making your shot more difficult, okay? So leave the lob wedge and the sand wedge in the bag when you've got plenty of uh, green to work with. Take an iron, okay, and make it, make it simple. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.